Now in this video we will learn about the reductive ozone releases. Alkenes, when you react with the ozone, so what we get there, we get an addition product there, which is an ozonide, the double bond completely breaks, the carbon carbon double bond breaks, and you know what you get? You get an ozonide, one oxygen oxygen over here, and the two oxygen atoms are like this. This is what we call as an ozonide, and after that, in the next step, we can reduce it. We can use the uh, DMS, dimethyl sulfide, or we can use the, the zinc and the water, the reducing agents over there. And what happens here? You get the two carbon atoms with the two oxygen atoms, okay? Each carbon gets a double bonded oxygen, and one of the oxygen is lost here with the reducing agent, correct? So you can break this, you know, ozonide over here, so let's take here an example of you know one of the uh, alkene. If you have an alkene uh, like this, we have an alkene with this is our alkene, and if you react with the ozone and you do the reduction there, right? The DMS. Let's say the you uh, use the DMS. So what you will get? How you will find the product? Just break the double bond over here right break this double bond and put the two oxygen atoms over there right so you get a molecule like this and another molecule like this so these are the two ketones and if you have a molecule like this you know we have an alkene like this and we do the reduct you know ozonolysis here reduct to ozonolysis first react with the ozone and then the dms or the zinc in the water one of the molecule will be the ketone right and another one will be the aldehyde okay over here we have an hydrogen so you can get you can get either aldehydes or ketones or you can get both right you know aldehydes and the ketones also so now let's you know look at the mechanism how we can get you know these uh, products here and what are the steps in the reductive ozone analysis ozone we know if i draw the electron dot structure of the ozone it is like this oxygen oxygen double bond you have two lone pair electrons and here we have a one electron pair and here you have three electron pairs with the formal positive charge here and the negative charge here why because it is actually a coordinate bond over here right the electron pairs are being donated by the central oxygen atom and you know, this is an acceptor so it has a formal positive charge and this is having a formal negative charge over here and now when you take an alkene right if you take here an alkene and you know a carbon carbon double bond over here and you interact with the ozone with it so what's going to happen alkenes you know with this negative charge electron pair one of the electron pair it can donate and form a bond with this particular carbon and therefore this electron pair in the middle it will form a bond with this oxygen atom and this is gonna shift to this side here so what you will get you get carbon you know carbon carbon single bond now okay we have a carbon carbon single bond and now it has it is bonded with the oxygen and then you initially it had a double bond now it is a single bond and you have here a one single bond with oxygen and a one bond with here now look at the electrons follow the electrons over here the, the pi bond over here forms a bond with this oxygen atom all right and we can see the electrons on this particular oxygen atom they are over here they form a bond with this one the electrons over here now they shift to the oxygen and therefore this central atom the central oxygen which had a formal positive charge is now neutral this oxygen atom over here it has two electron pairs also there right that there and this oxygen which is having a negative charge now it will be again neutral because it forms a bond with this carbon and donates electrons here and it has again now only two lone pair of electrons with the oxygen atom now we know the oxygen oxygen bond is you know uh, this is always unstable and it can break easily so what's going to happen over here in this uh, you know intermediate species here so what you will get over here from this one the oxygen 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 bond uh, that will break over here correct it is going to break and you know let, let's suppose you know we have here this electron pair okay let me show this electron pair it shifts towards the oxygen atom over here and this electron pair now it shifts to this oxygen atom and forms a double bond with the carbon correct 
and this electron pair this lone pair of electron on the oxygen it forms a double bond with this particular carbon so now what you will get you get a molecule like this you get an ox carbon double bonded oxygen atom right this is a carbon with you know double bond it had a single bond now it's a double bond and this particular carbon atom over here it is double bonded with the oxygen now right it has a double bond and this oxygen atom over here has a, has a, a single bond over here and look at the electrons right to follow the electrons over here it is the this electron pair which is now here so that forms the double bond the electron pair is here this electron pair and there on the you know, between the two oxygen atoms will be with the oxygen so it will have three electrons available now it will have three electrons okay so it will have a one formal negative charge and this oxygen atom which donates electrons you know to, to this particular carbon and now it has a one electron pair and a one formal pulse charge right this is the intermediate that you will get now we know this particular oxygen atom this particular oxygen atom which is uh, having a negative charge it can attack on this molecule right it can attack on this molecule but you know to understand it completely let me draw the whole structure again right let me draw this whole structure again over here i can rearrange this this uh, structure over here to get a clear idea you know what happens in this process we have a carbon double bonded with oxygen over here and we have here you know an oxygen atom over here a double bonded carbon with the two groups here one formal pulse charge and over here we have one formal negative charge now this carbonyl group here which is actually at the polar right this is polar delta positive charge and this has the delta negative charge because oxygen is you know uh, more electronegative atom so it will pull the electrons from the oxygen so therefore you know this carbon has a formal positive charge okay and therefore the electrons on this one is going to shift on this one and it forms a double bond you know a single bond with the carbon okay and this electron pair it will form a bond with this carbon here the electrons they will shift to this side okay so let's draw the structure of those and I that you get now now after the flow of these electrons so what will be the structure okay the structure is carbon double bonded you know a double bonded carbon is now a single bond right so it is bonded with another carbon atom over here okay it's bonded with another carbon atom which is now having a single bond right and this oxygen atom has now two lone pair electrons and this oxygen you know is bonded with this particular carbon over here right so again let's follow the electrons over here the electrons here these are now over here all right and the electrons over here they are now present on this oxygen atom over here and you have here a sing you know two single bonds the central oxygen atom you know over here it has two lone pair electrons and this oxygen which is negatively charged again it has now only two lone pair electrons so this is what you call an ozonide right this is an ozonide now in the reduction process you know in the in the reduction process what happens there in the reduction process when you take react with a dmso right a dms a dimethyl sulfide the dimethyl sulfide a dms the sulfide atom you know with the electron pairs there over there it forms a bond with this oxygen atom and over here what happens here here the electrons between these two oxygen atoms they will shift to this side and this electron pair over here is going to shift to this side and this bond it will go with the oxygen atom so the dms actually will be converted into a dmso and you get here the carbonyl group over here with now two substitutions and a double bonded oxygen right and an electron pair here this carbon atom again with two substitutions around and now it's bonded with this oxygen atom with a through a double bond right again a double bond so now these are the two compounds that you get when we do uh you know uh, the reductive ozonolysis first you know react with ozone if you look at the mechanism again when you react to the alkene with ozone so you get this ozonite right okay this is the ozonite and from the ozonite what you get you get these two carbonyl containing compounds so let's practice a little more few questions over here 
we have a molecule like this we have a molecule a CH3 CH and double bond C. in this molecule if we do the ozonolysis you know you react with the ozone first and you know you do the reduction DMS so what you will get you break the double bond over here put the oxygen under you know, this particular carbon double bonded with oxygen carbon double bonded with oxygen and now this carbon has two groups one is hydrogen the other one is metal so one is hydrogen and the other one is metal so this is an aldehyde and over here if you look at this particular carbon right this particular carbon it's bonded with the two metal groups right okay CH3 and the CH3 and you can double bond an oxygen there 